We're here at the J.P. Morgan Healthcare Conference in San Francisco, and joining me in the studio this afternoon from Cernomics is Patrick Liu. Patrick is the CEO. Patrick, welcome. Thank you. So, Patrick, let's talk about the novel products that you have coming to market. First, uh, you have anti-fibrotic uh, product. That's, can you tell us a little bit about what that is going to do for patients and caregivers? Definitely. So, uh, the technology we are using called the RNA interference. Using this technology, we can inhibit the targets before having been uh, reached to. So, uh, with this inhibition, we, are, we can have the a therapeutic benefit to the patient, especially those patients have the hypertrophic scar on their skin that's going to affect their appearance and also affect the biological function of their movement. So using uh, this anti drug, we can knock down the targets well-known in the field uh, called the TGF-beta-1 and the COX-2. The synergistic effect achieved by this drug allowed those uh, hypertrophic scar reduce their size. Okay. So what would the typical patient look like that's going to be appropriate for this product? I think that part of the question I will address to uh, our CMO, uh, Dr. Mike Malinoy. He can answer that question much more professionally than I do. <laughs> okay. And let's talk about the scar reduction. H how does that work? So a patient that's going to receive this is going to actually have more mobility and the scar will be greatly reduced. Um, is this performed, uh, obviously, in the clinical setting? Yes, uh, it should be in clinical setting with the local injection, uh, either intradermally, into the scar, or subcutaneous around the scar. With those injections, we can have the reduction of those uh, hypertrophic scar, which affect the patient's movement and appearance. We already demonstrated that using a human scarred implant a mouse model to show the therapeutic benefit of our therapeutics. Now, Patrick, um, liver fibrosis, let's talk about that because I know that you're working on um, a product for that as well. Sure, that's an even uh, more uh, severe problem uh, for the clinical applications uh, we have to deal with. Uh, liver fibrosis is the uh, consequence of multiple liver diseases, for example, HBV, HCV, and other alcohol-induced liver fibrosis, and there are multiple uh, causes of liver fibrosis. It's unmet needs right now. So using our same drug, uh, have uh, target uh, TGF-beta-1 COX-2, we already identified the therapeutic benefit of uh, uh, this uh, compound can uh, reduce the liver fibrosis in the mouse liver uh, fibrosis model. Now, one of the interesting things um, with your product is the delivery system. Sure. Um, talk to us about that. So, so the technology cohort for our uh, uh, company is a nanoparticle-based delivery system. So it's a polypeptide-based. Uh, it's a histine and a lysine copolymer branch can effectively package the nucleic acid, uh, SRA, uh, into the drug payload and allow the efficient delivery into the uh, tissue type into the cell and allowed therapeutic benefit occurred. So this nanoparticle based system is well developed in our company, already well validated in ND enabling studies. So it's very safe, very effectively, can be used for local and systemic delivery both. Now, Patrick, when can we expect these products to um, be to market? We are pushing for a clinical study right now. We are going to file ND uh, in next uh, quarter, and we hope uh, we can get into clinic very soon, uh, within this year, and then we push forward. As you may know, uh, for scar reduction, it's not a long haul for a clinical study. It can be a quick one. Uh, but details I would like to ask Mike to give you those kind of planning and uh, future uh, outlooks. Yeah. So um, it's interesting. You've got these coming to market. A very, very unique delivery system. Um, I know that the FDA is working hard to fast track a lot of products to market, um, especially in the area of oncology. And certainly, I think your liver fibrosis, the, given the prevalence of that, um, condition, um, are you able to take advantage of some of the fast-track programs that the FDA has? 
we are looking into that. But uh, we hope uh, with our program further progress, we, we are going to uh, uh, help uh, our program really move into that direction. Uh, that still uh, requires agency's uh, approval for those kind of uh, unique uh, privilege. Well, Patrick, I really admire the work that you're doing. I appreciate you stopping in, and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Nice talking to you.